Hey everybody, I am at the Edgar Casey ARE. That is the Association for Research and Enlightenment. This is a place that was uh, founded by Edgar Casey, who was a uh, American clairvoyant. He was, he's dead now, but he was somebody in the, uh, ninth, the 20th century who would uh, go into a trance and then answer lots of questions about healing and health. And he talked about Atlantis and uh, all kinds of uh, interesting things. So he'd go into this trance and uh, people would, uh, or he had someone who would uh, dictate or, or, or transcribe the things that he said. And uh, they have a whole library of all his readings. He has 1400s. So I'm gonna come here. I was really curious about the place. They have this library that's supposed to have the largest collection of metaphysical uh, uh, books other than the Vatican. And I was just curious about, curious about seeing it. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. So let's go in there and uh, check it out. So we're, so we're heading up to the library and uh, we're gonna see what kind of stuff they have here. So um, before I get in there and interrupt these people, you can see they have signs on spiritual growth, holistic health, diet, psychic development and reincarnation. Pretty cool, pretty clean place. Spirit is the life. Mind is the builder, physical is the result. So this sort of, this thing kind of walks you through the history. Apparently, uh, he was labeled as strange and often played with imaginary friends. Uh, he was able to speak to his deceased grandfather. They go tours uh, to Egypt, apparently. Pretty cool. All right, here's the library. Let's take a peek, let's go. So here's Edgar Casey here, and I believe that that was his wife. Let me see. No, Gladys Turner. So I believe she's the one who transcribed his uh, his his readings. He would go into this trance, and he'd go to sleep on either one of these. Maybe this is the one, and um, he'd start kind of talking about whatever came to came to his consciousness. So this is his reading. So he made over 14,000 readings. So I, I'm assuming I can pull one out and take a peek. So let's, let's go back. Let's go to reading one and see what's, see what's cracking there. Here's volume one. We're going to peek at it. So this is the index here. So I don't know what any of this means, but it the attitudes and emotions, anger, blood, corp, corpuscles, chiropractic, Exercise, tuberculosis. This psychic reading was given by Edgar Casey while visiting in Chicago. So it gives a rundown of where, what happened, where it was, who was present. Um, Agnes Jensen was the stenographer in the reading. And it kind of goes through, and I'm not gonna go through everything that was read or that was said, but we'll, we'll take a peek at the first one. So yes, we have the body here. Now we find this body very good throughout. There are some abnormal conditions that may be corrected. There are conditions existing in this system of which the body shall be wary of in their development in the system. I have no idea what that means. Let's check out the library. I'm really curious about what books we're gonna find. So, this was a place that helped you find your um, personal enlightenment. Um, it was, this library is very focused on the mind, body, and spirit connection. Like I said earlier, this is the largest medical, metaphysical collection in the world other than the Vatican. You can't go anywhere else and find something like this. Old Testament and fine arts. Christ and the fine arts. Well, look at this old paper I found in here. Wow, I wonder how old that is. 
1971, so interesting. That's an old piece of paper. Remember the song, Only Rose? Well, before it became a rose, it was only a tiny bud, which no man, living or dead, could unfold into a full-blown flower. Only God can do that. Why can't we trust him to also unfold our lives? There's a long poem here. I'll pass on reading that. There's more. Christ of Fine Arts. It's kind of cool to find that old paper. Application, telepathy, and application of hypnagogia and transpersonal concepts by Matthew Pryor Small. So we got Library Atlantic University. This, this project applied self-hypnosis to read an altered state of consciousness called hypnagogia in order to investigate it for telepathic ability. When searching for the truth, it's kind of hard to find what's genuine and what's not, but um, I think I think one thing you can say about most of this stuff is it's interesting. Oh, so they have some uh, Edgar Casey books in other languages, Chinese, what is this here? I don't know what that is. There you go, Japanese, Chinese. If this is a place you would visit or interested in visiting, let me know in the comments below. If it's a place you would not visit, tell me why. I mean, I'm just interested. I think there is a time where I would not have uh, wanted to come here. And I've grown a lot as a person uh, physically, mentally, and spiritually. And so here I am out of curiosity and uh, I'm going to spend some time looking at some of this stuff later on. But uh, I wanted to bring you along. I mean, you never know what people are interested in. And uh, this is my channel, and you get to see what I'm about. So um, since I was down here, I thought I would check it out. Free books. Do I want one? Coffin Underground. No. The CEO, the person who runs this, is this woman. She's an African-American woman named Nicole Charles. She's the CEO, or Reverend Dr. Nicole Charles, I should refer to her as. And um, yeah, it's really interesting. And they, I saw a YouTube video where she was speaking, and basically she, this place is about inviting people in here and trying to make you better, you know, not make you better, but allow you the resources to grow, I should say. And um, yeah, so I mean, there's a spa here. I won't be attending the spa, but um, yeah, I mean, if, if you want to, here you go. Graham Hancock. Now, this is, a, this is a book I wanted to read. Basically, this is talking about uh, history. Now, if you look it up on YouTube, uh, and uh, Wikipedia or something, I'll call it pseudo history, but basically talking about like American history that's not spoken about in traditional history in, in school. Um, like for instance, recent scientific discoveries that show America was first people at least 130,000 years ago, many tens of thousands of years before human settlements were established in Europe and Asia. And uh, it's pretty interesting, and there's a lot of science that's changing what we know about the world. So I got this from a bowl uh, full of these little scroll-looking things. I'm going to open it up and read it, and we can check it out together. And... So it says, and each individual has the choice, which no one has the right to supersede, even God does not. What do you guys think about that saying? And each individual has a choice, it's true, which no one has the right to supersede, even God does not. Supersede even, what is, what's up with this dash between here? I wonder what's up with that spelling. But um, Edgar Casey reading, huh. 
going to, we could probably find that, but I'm not going to. EdgarCasey.org. So I guess as you can find out more about them. But I think it's true that we do have a choice. Conduct your life as you wish. I think I'm going to leave the library. I think I've seen enough for now. We're going to check out the meditation room. It looks like a sanctuary, kind of. There are groups and members of the center all over the world, and people meet, meet um, together and have discussions and uh, fellowship of some kind. And um, they're able to come here and check out books. I'm not able to check out any books because I'm not a member. I don't know if I'll become a member or not, but uh, like I said, I just was curious about what the place looked like and um, what kind of books they had. So I'm going to the meditation center. Maybe I'll meditate. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, just in case you've never been. This is the meditation room. This is pretty cool glass. I thought it was stained glass, but apparently it had little tubes, as you can see, with color behind. Oh, I think there is stained glass behind there. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool thing. And you have this big crystal here. And this is where people meditate. And look what they get to see when they are meditating, if they decide to open their eyes. Can you see that? We're gonna step out there. That's the ocean, Atlantic Ocean right there. That's a dope ass view. So we're going to go outside and look at the meditation garden and uh, whatever else there is. Now apparently this has been here for a while and uh, people come here and get massage. I think there's a massage school here also and um, the university called it Atlantic University. So I'm assuming uh, teaches the principles of Edgar Casey. All right, so now we're in the meditation gardens. So um, if you were to come here and meditate, you have a little spot right here. Hopefully you don't have annoying people videotaping uh, or videoing you like I am. But uh, hey, I wanted to show you and I'm just curious. So uh, here's a whole bunch of bamboo going down here. A little bench for your privacy. Huh. I feel like I'm in a Chinese forest or something. May peace be in the United States of America. Amen. So be it. Peace prevail on earth. May peace be in our homes and communities. And hopefully that says all the things that I just read. There's the meditation garden for you. That was really cool. And uh, they have a hospital building. So people come here for their health needs. And uh, maybe these are facilities that they stay in here. So um, thinking that the, if I'm looking right, the stone, stone labyrinth is up this way. So welcome to ARE's labyrinth in memory of all those who have gone before in appreciation of all those who have made this possible in the present in anticipation of all those who came after to carry this great work forward. This labyrinth is the lasting tribute to ARE's 75th anniversary so it's been here for over 80 years nearly 90 years i didn't know what i was looking for but uh here's the stone labyrinth i thought this would be like stones that were like sort of standing up but here is what they're talking about so you kind of find a place to start and you follow the path in so let's just start here so 
you just take it around and you ideally do this slowly and kind of work your way in so you zigzag around until you enter the center with the dolphins. This building here is the hospital. Pretty cool. All right, we're going to head up in, uh, into the hospital. So this is the headquarters, main building, health center and spa, Miller Cafe, dining room, business offices. So I want to check out the cafe. Since they're all about health, maybe I'll see what they're serving. So I'm here, it's sort of close to four. Apparently they close at four. So here's the cafe. What do they have today? Hi. Don't worry, I'm not ordering anything. <laughs> So this is what they have here today. Looks like some healthy stuff. Cream potato and leek. Cool. I got the dining room in here. So when they're open, they have the dining room here. Thank you. There's another out, out, out dining place here. And that's that. Yeah, lots going on, but uh, it's a great place. And this is a great place. And uh, I'm glad I got to bring you along. So if you like the video, share it, subscribe, and uh, press the like button. And um, I'm going to be doing some more cool stuff like this. Um, and, you know, uh, not necessarily with the metaphysics and the mind, body, spirit connection, but it's something I'm interested in. If I see something like this, you better believe I'll be doing, going to do it. So um, if you would do something like this or visit this place, or if you're interested in any way, let me know. I like to connect with other pe like-minded people who are, who are like this and who are interested in this sort of thing. So I love you. Oh, by the way, I have uh, I had this idea for a saying at the end of my videos. Tell me what you think in the comments. Live the life that you love, love the life that you live. So if you live the life that you love, you'll love the life you live. The loving life and enjoying life is about a choice and a matter of choices. And you can sort of shape and manifest your life in the way you want. And that's what I believe. So if you think, if you dig that, let me know. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.